Today, we are going to be returning to our fault finder series and we're going to be looking at three mistakes that leg spinners could make. First up, we're going to be looking at a couple of wrist mistakes as leg spin bowling is wrist spin. The first mistake we often see is where the wrist comes along the side of the ball and the ball gets released more as a toppy. This is going to influence the amount of side revs you get which is going to cost you spin. The same thing can happen where the wrist turns completely and the back of your palm faces the batter. This is where the ball comes out as a googly and you're actually not turning the ball the way you are meant to. And the final wrist thing that we see is where we do not cock our wrist to get it working over the ball and the wrist stays nice and strong through there and going over the ball without really getting around the ball. So it comes out more like a forced pushed out slider which is going to drift into the batter. What we want to see is we want to see a nice strong cocked wrist coming through the action to allow it to work over and around the ball. But at the same point making sure that the palm is facing the batter so that you can release the ball out of the front of the hand to get those side revs on. Important to note is that you don't want the ball coming out with too many side revs because that could also inhibit your spin. You want the ball coming out at a 45 degree angle to give you the best chance of spin, drift, dip and bounce to get those wickets that you deserve. A very basic drill that we could use to check that the angle of the seam is coming out of the hand correctly and that the wrist is cocked and working through the ball is some wrist flicks. We take the ball, flick it out, allow it to bounce in front of you and make the ball spin directly back towards you. Very simple, very basic and can be done anyway. Have you ever tried opening a sliding door? Well this is a mistake that a lot of wrist spinners make where the front arm instead of driving nice and forward and through the top of the action goes and pulls to the side, forcing the body to fall away, making the wrist and arm fall away and costing us our power. What we want to do is make sure that the arm works nice and forward through the action to pull you over your front foot to help you get through the action and impart as many revs as possible on the ball. A very basic draw that we can do for this is to take a cone, put it in your front hand and then bowl with it. This works in two ways, where you've got a visual aid to see where your hand is going and also you can feel it in your hand so you know you're focusing on that and working nice and forward. What's nice about this again is you can actually do it anywhere and it can get comfortable and help you ball better. Do you want to become a better cricketer? Are you getting yourself in a spin? Why not purchase one of our training schedules? It will be linked in the description below. Next up, we're going to look at front arm mistakes that could affect your drive through the crease. We're going to look at two common mistakes here where the one is the front arm works really short and doesn't really extend through it, making you go through the crease that much quicker and not giving you time to work over your bowling foot and drive through the crease, giving you time on the ball. The second mistake we're going to look at is where the arm doesn't get nice and up. It just goes forward and through. Yet again, it's making you go through the crease too quickly. As a leg spin bowler, you want to spend time in the crease to allow your hand and wrist time to work through the ball to get those revs on it. At the same time, the driving arm helps drive you through the crease and towards your target, making sure that you can gain enough momentum to the point where we are bowling. The positives of making sure that you get a nice long front arm through the crease is that it's going to help you with consistency. Consistency in action, consistency in pace, consistency in revs. This is going to make you a better bowler going forward and give you a better chance to beat the bat on both edges. A very basic draw that we can do for this is we are going to be walking into the crease and bowling. But the step before we get into the crease, we're going to extend our front arm nice and high forward and allow it to drive through the entire action to go forward. This might feel very strange initially, but what you're teaching your body to do is to get into the right positions at the point of release, and that is going to make you a better bowler in the future. Thank you very much for watching this video. We hope that you did enjoy it. If you want to see more of these four final videos, please let us know in the comment section below. A massive shout out and thanks to all our members who help make all of these videos possible. And if you want to check out another Lexpin video, it will be over here.